John the Baptist was the greatest and most important prophet in all of the Bible. And there are many aspects of his ministry that are deeply prophetic in nature. See, John was called and commissioned by God to help usher in the first appearing of our Messiah, Jesus. See, John was actually the cousin of Jesus, born to his mother, Elizabeth, and his father, Zachariah the priest. In fact, before John was even born, the angel Gabriel came to Zachariah when he was in the temple during his priestly division's duties. And Gabriel came carrying three different aspects of John's ministry that he wanted to speak about. The first was that John would go before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah, that he would make known to the disobedient the wisdom of the just, and the last one which carries particular weight. He said that John would make ready for the Lord a people prepared. Now, Zechariah hearing this message in the temple as a priest, you would think in context that Gabriel was prophesying to a future priesthood of John. So you think naturally by his family lineage and who his father was, that John would begin his ministry in the temple. But no, John heard a whisper deep within his spirit. It was a call from God to come out into the wilderness. It was an unorthodox avenue that God was calling John to. Not the regular system by which men would walk through ministry and attain to leadership in the ministry of God. He called them out to the wilderness, a hidden place consecrated with the Lord. The content of John's message was this, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. With this message, John also proclaimed a baptism, which was actually a proselyte baptism for Gentile believers who are being grafted into Judaism, except John was proclaiming the same baptism also to the religious elite of the day, the Pharisees, who by definition wouldn't even need to undergo this baptism. But John was saying, in order to encounter the Lord in his coming, there was a need for purification. There was a need for sanctification. There is a need to come out to the wilderness and establish a company of people who are refined with the refiner's fire, cleaned and purified with fuller's soap. No, the credentials of man and right theology was not all that was necessary, but there was an accreditation in the spirit that was needed. I would say to you today, the Spirit is releasing a call to establish a people, a company, a forerunner John the Baptist people in the wilderness. God is inviting you and inviting me like he did John to come into the wilderness, to get alone and hidden with him, to become purified and have eyes that will see and behold his coming. For he says, behold, I am coming soon.